Hello everyone, my name is Fox and I'm going to be showing you the best Streamlabs recording settings for slow computers. Stay tuned. Now, if you've been living under a rock and haven't heard of Streamlabs OBS yet, what are you doing? It is quite literally the best streaming and recording software out there. I might even go as far as to say it is better than OBS Studio. Go to the top of the description and click my affiliate link and start using the best software out there. Now the first thing that I have to do is look at the top right corner of Streamlabs OBS window and you will find a gear button that says settings. Now press that button, this window that says settings should appear. As you may notice this window has many tabs on the left. You don't have to concern yourself with them, all you need to focus on are the output tab and the video tab. Okay, great. Let's start off with the video tab because it is well easier. Click on the video tab right here and and this is where the tweaking happens. Okay, now try to keep up. First go to the base canvas resolution, click this over here and this drop down menu should show up. Select the resolution of 720p if your PC is capable of 720p recording basically if it can't then select whatever resolution that you use for gaming again if your pc runs games on 800 by 600 resolution then select that resolution to use for recording if your pc can run games at 720p well then merry christmas select 720p and do the same thing with the output scaled resolution now the downscale filter put that at bilinear and the fps type make sure it says common fps values as you could see and the common fps value should be set at 30 again if you can do 60 in game make it 60 then and like this we are done with the video tab now move that sweet cursor of yours on top of the output tab now and now gently click it and whoa this overwhelming page full of settings appears do not worry my friends there is nothing to be confused about i will show you everything in full details now don't i deserve a like go on leave a like you know you want to anyways first make sure the output mode says advanced over here after that minimize the streaming tab because we're not going to be streaming as we will be just recording simply and as you can see it is less overwhelming now isn't it all right so in the recording pass simply select the path where you want the recording to be stored at the recording format should be mp4 because it's simply the best one in my humble opinion now the audio track simply select the audio track that you are using and now for the trickiest bit of them all the recording tab okay if and only if you have a graphics card that is not suffering running games well select whatever option appears over here in my case it's an nvidia encoder if you have an amd card it might say something else depending on the card and now if your graphics card is as strong as my self-esteem well i highly recommend sticking with the software encoder which is basically the software times 264 option i will be sticking with the nvidia encoder for now that being said jump into the rate control and set it to cbo which is current bitrate and now for the bitrate type in 40,000 in the bitrate space where you're supposed to and then make sure the keyframe interval is set as zero and now skip everything else and go to profile and make sure it says main and bam bada bim bada boom we are done over here move that cursor and press that fancy down button and all is left for you to do now is leave a like to today's video and subscribe all jokes aside guys i'm on my way to 2000 subscribers and i would appreciate it if you help me reach that milestone that being said i will see you hopefully in the next video bye bye <laughs>